Famous comedians on the circuit, he plays to packed theatres wherever he goes, and he's from Limerick, that you know it by his accent. Would you please welcome Jimmy Carr, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'm Jimmy Carr, and these are my jokes. Uh, one in three Scottish women is clinically obese, <laughs> as are the other two. My girlfriend's vegetarian. She thinks it's disgusting that I eat veal, but she eats baby carrots. <laughs> They're babies. Hopefully people are laughing at home. We're getting nothing here. Uh, <laughs> I think you know you're getting old. I was watching porn last week. I found myself thinking, that bed looks comfy. <laughs> the worst thing about being told you've got Alzheimer's is it doesn't just happen the once. <laughs> And I'll be telling that joke again later on, <laughs> if I remember. I read that drinking your own urine is meant to be good for you. Bullshit. <laughs> I put my back out. <laughs> That's maybe a little bit generous, but... <laughs> I was by the seaside earlier and I was thinking about rising sea levels. And this guy next to me was throwing stones into the water. I thought, well, that's not helping. Is there a small time delay on your audience? <laughs> the Church of England wanted to move forward on female bishops, but bishops can only move diagonally. <laughs> Gay priests can move wherever they like, because they are queens. <laughs> I'm trying to write the shortest joke possible. Last year I had a four-word joke. Four-word joke. Venison's dear, isn't it? Yes. Sorry, four words, though. It doesn't mess about. Three-word joke. Right, three words. Stationary store moves. <laughs> Clearly won't do. Right, I'll try a two-word joke. Dwarf shortage. <laughs> and if you're offended by that, grow up. <laughs> two ways to stop bullying, as I see it, ladies and gentlemen. There are two ways to stop bullying once and for all. Firstly, you can stop the bullies. Well, that's been tried. Secondly, you can stop the kids that are being bullied from being such faggy dicks. <laughs> And really, the best way to do that is bullying. <laughs> if you're being bullied because you've got a speech impediment, there are people you can talk to. <laughs> but it will take bloody ages, <laughs> and they may giggle a bit. If you get arrested for making obscene phone calls, and you get taken down to the station, and you've got one phone call... <laughs> it's got to be a temptation, isn't it? <laughs> My girlfriend's got one of those tiny little strips of hair. What are they called? It's a moustache. <laughs> My girlfriend and I are trying for a baby. We got pretty close outside Tesco last week. <laughs> Women give us the silent treatment because they think it's a punishment. <laughs> We've got a special name for the silent treatment. We call it peace and quiet. I've been with the same girl now, I don't know about... I've been with the same girl for eight years. We're very happy together. How's this for crazy, though? We've been together for eight years, and she still gets upset if I use her toothbrush. That's mental, isn't it, when you consider how intimate we've been? And if you can tell me a better way to get dog shit out of trainers... <laughs> I'd love to hear about it. Do you know you can get condoms that are ribbed for her pleasure? So what I do, turn them inside out, please myself. I'm going to leave you with this. I'm going to leave you with this, The Late Late Show. Two euro from the sale of every one of my DVDs goes to the poor, underprivileged children of Cambodia. Who? Manufacture them. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it from me. I'll go and say hello. Thanks very much. Thank you.